What's at the bottom of the ladder? I can't see. It's pitch black. Should we go back up? Wait, I think there's a lever. Wow. What is that? The smell. It smells weird. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It smells like... It's kind of earthy. Damp. Well, it's an old painting. Old things smell. It's just weird because we're in a submarine. But it smells like soil. There's an old-fashioned speaker mounted on the wall. It's playing spooky music. It's the kind of music you'd hear at a fancy party for vampires. I hear it. But the vampires are all wearing masks, and there's one guy who's secretly not a vampire, and... Sally. Hmm? What's in the frames? They're just ocean landscapes. I guess this is what lights up the room when you pull the switch. I wonder what they burn to make it pink. A glass of wine. Ominously left half finished. Maybe the wine was corked. Ominously corked. It's like an old fashioned drawing room. I don't see any drawings. It's short for withdrawing, as in you withdraw there after dinner. I actually never knew that. This is the lever you pulled? Yeah, so leave it alone. I don't want it to go dark again. The candles are actually lit. Some of them, anyway. I'm guessing this place hasn't booked its quarterly fire safety inspection. I think this door leads into the control room. I want to go into the control room. Well... You can't. It's locked. It's taped up on the other side of the door. You don't need to come in here. The crime scene is one floor down at the very back of the submarine. Captain Seafoam. Thanks for the directions, I guess. Do you get the sense that the captain is hiding from us? Why would they do that? It's like an old-fashioned drawing room. I don't see any drawings. It's short for with I no. actually never knew that. Pufferfish lamp. A timeless classic. This looks like dead coral. Is coral ever alive? Coral are marine animals, dude. What? Playing cards. Looks like someone got dealt a bad hand. Oh, really? I have no idea. I just thought that would sound cool. Three tables, arranged into a Z shape. It's actually more like an S from this angle. Oh, maybe they were trying to write my name, but they ran out of tables. Three tables. Arranged. It's oh, actually... maybe... A little pot with a red crayon and a blue crayon. You're not going to pick it up? No. Ten bucks says this turns out to be an important clue. You're on. It's a big metal statue of a serpent. Uh, there is a cabinet built into it, but I think it's locked. Nope. Four dials, with a window in the center of each one. Turning each dial 
rotates the shapes that appear in the surrounding windows. What do those numbers mean, though? Oh, that was it. Nice work. The little cabinet opened. Anything in there? Statue. I opened the cabinet and found this. Pots and pans for cooking. Hey, it's a kitchen. We didn't have one of those last time. What? Nothing. A picture of a fish. Delightful. I guess this is the mess hall. It is kind of a mess, yeah. Let's go to the crime scene before we do anything else. The stool's been knocked over. Doesn't it look familiar to you? Sally. It's a standard wooden stool. I don't... It looks exactly like the bar stools in the Stone Top Inn. There's a little broken bottle on the floor. I'm guessing Mortuga dropped this when he died. A trail of blood. Looks like it came from the rune in Mortuga's neck. It runs straight down the room towards the back of the submarine. No, it doesn't. Not immediately. It pulls out first, then changes its mind. There's a cloth hanging up on the wall. Are those footprints? Not quite what I was expecting. The case file said it had never been unlocked before. It's a little window and looks out into the endless dark void of the ocean. Why did you phrase it like that? I don't know. 
Someone's taped the drawing to the wall. I think it's supposed to be a poster. Someone's hung up a curtain here. It's tied to the wall right now, but looks like it could be drawn across the middle of the room. No, oh, like a theater curtain. Finally, something to justify the name of the room. Someone's hung up a banner with the words Illusion Theater painted on it. What's the illusion, I wonder? You know, I think this room's had some kind of rebranding. Rebranding from what? What was it before? Possibly nothing. A small room like this wouldn't normally have a name at all. So, this is where Magnus Mortuga died. It's just like the case Faust said. He landed on his back with a cauldron at his feet. He was killed by getting cut across the neck, right? Yeah, you can see that's where the blood came from. But there's no weapon, no knife or anything. Nothing. This place gives me the creeps. That cauldron especially. I keep staring into it like I'm going to see something. But it really does seem to be empty. To quote from the case file, Mortuga had locked himself in the room. It was later forced open, and the body was discovered. So Mortuga was alone in a locked room. A very small locked room. There really isn't anywhere for a murderer to hide. I'm not so sure. I think there is a hiding place. Magnus Mortuga unlocked the cauldron and was killed by what was inside. Hmm. I really don't think a person would fit in that cauldron. And didn't they say it had never been unlocked before? If that's true, there couldn't have been anyone in there. Right. I agree. I don't think it was a person. Then what? I don't know. But you have to wonder why it was kept locked in the first place. I'm guessing there was something pretty bad in there. Look, Mortuga died from a cut across his neck, not from some vague paranormal entity. Unless you're suggesting it was a vague paranormal entity with a knife? Did you get a good look at the inside of the cauldron? There was something I noticed. Thanks. 